we're the top two guys in the division. He wants to unify, I want to unify. It's what all world champions should be trying to do, you know? I keep saying it's like, you've, you've won the world title, it's a dream come true, don't get me wrong. But then you've got to raise the bar. And what's next? Unification. So um, fair play to Danny for taking on the unification. And um, it's what the fans want, it's what the fighters want, and it's great for professional boxing. So it's great, it's great to be in this position. It's what every fighter wants. Like obviously, uh, like I said, the world title fight, but ultimately you want to unify the division and cement your name at the top of the division. It's crazy because when Danny challenged me in the ring in New York, he said that to me, he said, I've got a lot of respect for you. You won the title the same way as me. We both traveled to Japan and won the world title, so it's kind of a similar story. Um, he's a really respectful guy, so there's no need for saying, saying anything like negative about the kid. He's a, he's a great fighter, he's got a great punch selection. He's going to bring it, he's all, he's in his hometown, so I know he's going to bring it, but he's going to have to bring his best, you know. I'm constantly on the road, you know, I'm a bit of a road warrior, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's exciting for me. I kind of, um, I, I thrive on, on these kind of situations because it's exciting for me being able to travel the world and box in all these different places. Like, I've boxed in um, Korakuen Hall in Tokyo, I've boxed in Sydney, Australia, I've boxed in Madison Square Garden. Now I'm about to um, co-headline in the forum in LA. Like, you know, it's unbelievable and it's the stuff of dreams. And like I said, it's what every fighter strives for and I'm here now living it. Myself and Danny are in the same mindset. It's, it's crazy like how, how alike we are. But again, it's what boxing needs and yeah, you get through, you get through um, a unification, people are still going to have something to say. Like I always say, you could lay golden eggs and people still won't be happy, you know. So when you unify, then they want you to be undisputed. So yeah, once you unify, you raise the bar again, what's the next goal? Undisputed and so on. Then you want to become two-weight world champion. Oh, these are all the dreams, but right now, April 26 is the only thing on my mind and we'll worry about anything else that comes after that, you know. You know, because I'm getting this exposure and I was expecting a lot of negative stuff, but I've been getting not, nothing but um, positive feedback. I'm getting a, lo a lot of reaction back in Ireland as well, even though it's on the DAZN platform, I think through uh, Sky Sports is, is uh, helping raise my profile back on this side of the water as well, you know, so it's just unbelievable. Um, it's not something I crave all this attention. Um, anybody will tell you that, but I think it's something I deserve having went and, and achieved what I've achieved in the fashion I've done it. So, um, yeah, no, it's really good. And the zone platform being really good to me and um, I'm looking forward to what the future holds. Um, I'm going to predict fireworks. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, it's not my, it's not my style to make any fight predictions, you know, but the fans can expect a really good fight. I know Danny's going to bring it and he better believe that I'm well prepared and I'm ready for whatever he brings.